at home, I I listen to feel good stuff, you know, Django Reinhardt or oh. Ella Fitzgerald, or whatever stuff that just cleansing my mind, so I can have full power when I walk out naked, yeah. of course, with my <laughs> penis going back and forth, my Viking penis. <laughs> Hello everyone! Hello! We're back to my YouTube channel, my name is Chris and we have the one and only and super cool, super funny Matthias ja, Eklund. Hello, hello, it's good to be here boys and girls in Treppendorf, Germany, oh, yes. Earth. Yes. <laughs> Germany, Earth. <laughs> yes. First of all, yes. what is IA? Is it a, a short? It's a short really version cheap version of Matthias. When I was a kid I couldn't say Matt IA, okay. so it's Matt IA. Um, so, so yeah, it just became it's a nickname. Just a nickname. It's only m my mother when she's mad at me. She's, uh, you know, it's she says Matthias. Otherwise, it's only uh, uh, Ia. But my, my wife Ia. says Matthias. She never says Ia. It's like okay. like an Ian, but the N fell off. You know? Okay. So okay. Ia. Ia. it doesn't mean anything. Just it, it makes life more complicated. Oh, and yeah. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Why take the easy way out? You know. It just stuck. So Matthias cool. Bob Eklund doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> Matthias just like, yeah. Eklund, yes. <laughs> Great. All right, so um, let's start with gear. I always enjoy figuring out how really interesting, influencing guitar players mm. approach gear. Yeah. And uh, I always learn something. Even if they say, I cannot be bothered. Yeah, I yeah. just don't give a crap. I, yeah, uh, yeah. That's, that's the same. Interesting. Yeah. So what's up with that? Well, of course, I do give a crap because I need certain things to... to um, work for me so I can do my silly pagan music, you know, uh, and I play eight string guitar. So therefore I need a good low end. Good God, I have reverb. Sorry about that. Sorry, boys. <laughs> uh... But I need that the goof goof, you know, yeah, yeah. to answer uh, properly. And then and I need some distortion, not too much, you know, if you over distort it, you will have a tiny, tiny sound, but the, the you just on the verge of what you can do to to get your stuff through, you know, don't don't over distort it. You know, the bigger the sound, um, the less distortion, and yeah. vice versa. So, yeah. Uh, but I, I play Laney amps, and this one they gave me yesterday. Uh, I don't not sure how it works, but it looks really mean. It's, it's black. red and it's black. Got red and shit. Mm. And and it's a green <laughs> button here, but. I don't like that. No. <laughs> it's it's clean sound. So, um, so it, it's cool. It's actually three hundred watts. So uh, you can just uh, fly in anywhere and change people's um, uh, haircuts. You know? so <laughs> what kind of haircut would you like? I would like to look like Kirk Hammett today. Great, but you're bald. But no problem. You know. So, so it's great. Um, the low end is great, and the tone is is super sweet. The harmonics. Are bouncing really, really cool, you know, and um, that's all I need. I have a delay pedal, spare no expense when in Treppendorf. <laughs> and I plug it into the return thing. Okay. Uh, I have one pedal with one battery. I don't like batteries, I don't like uh, adapters. I don't okay. want to base my entire career on a nine volt battery. Yeah. You yeah. walk on stage and, how's it going, motherfuckers, and so on. Woo, and there's, oh, dead battery. Anyone has a battery? A screwdriver. <laughs> 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 kind of ruins you know? the, the, yeah, the yeah. vibe. Yeah. So I have a Dunlop, a Dunlop uh, passive uh, volume pedal, which is great because the guitar is is a nasty instrument at oh, time. Yes. You know, everyone everyone's been in a band where, where you know arrogant guitar players they go and take a piss and they leave the guitar. Yeah, so you know, <laughs> uh, or drummers trying to play guitar. And so and it's driving me crazy. You know, I want the guitar to be quiet and silent. And when you're not playing, you know, shut. Fuck up. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Like Frank Zappa said, shut up and play guitar. Yeah. And do yeah. it well and play it like you mean it, but not all the time. So I did <laughs> oh, a. Wow. I did, that's that's I did, very good. Yeah. yeah. I, did oh. a, I did a concert a few years uh, ago, the most strange sonic setup ever with the female choir okay. in a church during Christmas time with my um, older sister as a conductor and piano and electric distorted guitar. What? And we all thought this is going to turn into complete shice and music. You know? <laughs> uh, but they said, hey, you're the most quiet, silent, super duper control guitar player we've ever heard and, of. Okay. You know? wow. Because of, of volume pedal and amps, they don't hiss a lot. You yeah, know? yeah. Because I fade in. 
the notes, so you get rid of all the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not a fan of, of gates, uh, because I think it takes away a lot of their dynamics and so mm. on. So, um, what I do is I gate every... <laughs> Vacuum! Hey! So, I, I keep Your left it foot quiet. is, your, is yeah. your gate. Yeah, really, and, and also for me, this is a clean sound. And then... So this is this is great. So because mm -hmm. the guitar sounds great. So it yeah. has this mean bark. But let's just stick to that for a second. Uh, your volume pedal is in front of the amp, like yes. right between the guitar and the amp. Yes, that yeah. is one of the most creative way using volume pedal. If you stick yeah. the volume pedal in the effects loop, yeah. you'll just have. The same Lower, sound, yeah. more quieter or louder. Why would but, you ever do that? Why would you ever approach, do that? It's a different approach, but okay. that's the creative approach, I think. Yeah, so, I think uh, so too, because the cool thing is when, when you use the volume pedal and you use uh, an amp or whatever you have, um, and you combine notes, you never know the outcome. Uh, you can have ring modulator sounds. <laughs> And you know, you never know. So if you hit one harmonic, and then. So you have no. And that's the beauty of it. Instead of, you know, everything is maxed out, you know, gain is 10 all the time. La la la. It's like eating sauerkraut every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, we don't be do good that in Germany. We don't, <laughs> no, no, really I know, don't. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so that's how it is. It's uh, I, wow. I like dynamics in life. How know? many effects do you use? Like, this is as this minimal is the, as it gets. This is the big rig. Of this doing, is your big yeah, board. <laughs> yeah, the blue light is doing something. <laughs> a little bit of delay, you know. It's pretty. I mean, so, you know, it's a carbon copy. Of course, it's pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? I I always thought you, I I was. 100% sure that you're using a whammy pedal. Oh yeah, to this very did, day. Did you? No, no, never. 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 To this very day, I get emails from, from kids all over the world saying, Matthias, what kind of whammy pedal do you use? <laughs> it sounds very strange. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all natural harmonics, uh, the overtone series, so yeah. Wow. You can do it wow. too. <laughs> you just have to hit hard and play it like you. You should talk like this. What's your name? What? How do you spell this? I don't know. You know. So, yeah. I know a little about your influences, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make any sense. No, I know. <laughs> I mean, Frank, makes Frank Zappa, Zappa? Yeah, is yeah. it correct? Yes. That makes a lot of sense, but yeah. otherwise, yes. Yeah. I've yeah, been reading. It, yeah, it's it's it started with Kiss because of the fire and the the, the blood and you know uh, stuff like that. Yes, yes, and and then I got a little bit disappointed of the sound. Uh, I I remember saw a Kiss Destroyer and then Kiss Alive too, and you know with the centerfold back in the days <clears throat> yeah. when you had LPs and well you have some LPs. Never mind. Um, and I thought this is the shit. And then I turn it on. It's like, well, I want it to be more aggressive. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. Do you love me? <laughs> Whoa, <it's just> like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's a then, weird combination. The yeah, demon and a uh, yeah, space yeah, yeah. ace, and then. But then I saw my first ACDC concert. Uh, God bless Swedish television who broadcasted this. I think I was uh, seven years old. Uh, Let There Be Rock um, tour, and I think that was my first erection. Actually, <laughs> because I, I, it was black and white, you know, <laughs> shit TV. And, but it, the raw energy of ACDC really got through yeah. the TV set, and I was like. I was flabbergasted. I just climbed the sofa and it jumped so hard, I knocked the bottom off the sofa. Oh, and I man. thought, at that very moment, I decided what to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, because there's nothing better than a the way they do. And ACDC has the best understanding next to Indian musicians of groove and time. Oh, yeah. They are oh, so yeah. beyond everybody else. And people who complain about, oh, it's easy, it's just three chords. Well, screw you. Yeah. You have no clue yeah. uh, with your stupid da -da 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 stinky metal stuff, <laughs> how good they actually are. And the, 
You know, even a guy like Phil Rudd, people, oh, he sucks. He can only do this. He's the best. Nobody can play in that, the Hyatt. Yeah. When he stopped doing dope, he's back. I saw yeah. him, you know, just a, a, a year ago. And it was great just keeping time. And people say, but you play that get on, that get on, strange stuff in 1732. And yeah. so why do you like ACDC? That's the shit. Yeah, yeah. That's, I always come back to ACDC. So, yeah, I want to do quintuplets, drool blood and groove. So, yeah, yeah. so there you have it. And Frank Zappa is, is you know, life Crazy. Okay, experience. now it makes a lot more sense. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank no, you. really. I mean, yeah. it's, not a, it's not obvious and normal that people who are into really progressive and really complex and out of this world yeah. music, that yeah. they still respect and really enjoy the simple stuff. Yeah, because... I, I think also if you're in the pro metal world or whatever, and it scares me, when people they come off the road and they turn on the uh, prog music or whatever it is you know uh, i don't listen to slayer when i get off the road i turn on dean martin you know oh, wow. okay. i'm tired i cook some veggie food in you know my beautiful house in the swedish woods for my family and i i uh, you know i had enough and in order to charge the batteries and i love slayer for instance you oh, know, yeah. it's a oh, great yeah. raw energy and so on but at home i I listen to feel-good stuff, you know, Django Reinhardt or oh. Ella Fitzgerald, whatever. Stuff that's just cleansing my mind so I can have full power when I walk out. Naked, yeah. of course, with my <laughs> penis going back and forth, my Viking penis. <laughs> and work on silly music, you know. Yeah. <laughs> or in Germany, you can say penis. Well, uh, penis. in Germany, you can say a lot of things, even on television, <laughs> yes, yeah, which yeah. freaks out the world. Yeah, but it yeah, is how yeah. it is. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. But, but that's really <clears> how I charge my batteries, by not having constant yeah, I guess yeah. it's it's driving me crazy you know because then I can go on stage with with again full power and also work with the music other than this that's that's all you need nothing yeah, else yeah i use uh, believe it or not i i see no problem with uh, uh, amp modeling as well you know okay. because, oh, that's blasphemy okay. and uh, sometimes i use the the uh, the helix and that's the same right. thing i have one sound and i have exactly the same sound that sounds like delaney with delay but <laughs> well, what about the other three thousand things you could do well you couldn't know, care less <laughs> it's, uh, so it's it's complicated enough for me to turn on this one and turn it off yeah know? where is it where yeah. is the pedal yeah you know you I have need the, that one knob yeah you have the <laughs> Give white, it to me. viking wig and it's in your face and everything <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah so i keep it simple and and try to focus on actual uh, songwriting and, and um, sort of looking for the dark side of music where I haven't gone before and yeah. I tread carefully and sometimes I go wrong and it turns into shyster music and I go somewhere else, Just, you know. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's really, direction. yeah, it's really, really cool. Yes. All right. Amplifier. Yeah, the last, last things. That's, that's all you need. So yeah, yeah. you're with Laney for a, <laughs> yes. and your forehead. Yeah. You're with Laney for a, a long time now, right? Since, Since 10 years? Uh, since 1996, no before way. you were born, son. Well, not all, <laughs> almost. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, same wow. with comparison guitars. You know, it was. Um, I'm a loyal man. I'm a loyal man, and it was such a treat to when I was young and desperate for some kind of action in my life, and I had shit gear. I had a <clears throat> Marshall with a bird nest inside. It's actually oh, true, really? with eggs and feathers and everything. <laughs> so no wonder it sounded like caca. Anyway. No, no wonder you turned into vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but Laney approached me and said, you are um, you're a badass player. We like you. And uh, how about you get some new gear? And I said, good. Okay. Very good. And for that, I'm super loyal because usually it's like, Oh, good God! They they uh, they are big, you know. They fill venues, or they have many YouTube likes yeah. and so on. Why don't you play our stuff, you know? Yeah, but yeah. back in the days, it was because of music, and I liked it, and I respect it. It was the same with Caparison guitars. They were waiting for me in the lobby in a hotel in in Tokyo. What and a my story! First, yeah, and my first visit, I said, "Oh, Matthias, would you like uh, to work with us and bring some guitars with you home?" You know, and that was really. Really, really cool and, and a game changer for me. It's, uh, and then they started, you know, how about signature model? I said, yes to signature model is good. And so I get paid for playing my own signature models. It's amazing, you know, you get wow. royalty yeah, and yeah. free guitars. And then you have the true temperament frets, which is a Swedish invention and I love it, you know. Let's talk so, about that for a yes, second. It really yes. looks like I had too many beers last night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how on earth, I mean, to play it, yeah. I, I, I've tried it. It's, yeah. it's totally self. You know, yeah. explanatory so yeah. it's easy but how on earth do you bend on the on the crazy spots it's it's no Is problem it you want to try or <laughs> yeah. but but bending 
Um, of course, bending on an eight string guitar, you have to you have to fight it. What, what gauge of strings? Uh, 42 to, to nines, and then you have right. a 65, and it's uh, 54, which is quite thin. That, that is um, pretty yeah. thin. Yeah. yeah, I started with 80, and it sounded like a, a silly, uh, you know, a precision bass with yeah. old strings. Yeah. It died right away. Yeah. And I need the a little bit of the strings. So. Because an eight string guitar is not a bass guitar. Yeah. That, that's really how yeah. it is. When you add the bass, it's like, oh yes. <laughs> yes. I prefer to have the bass in the band and throw the guitar out in many ways because the bass is making it complete. So yeah. uh, we need um, we need bass. So yeah, uh, I use DR strings. They are, have been good to me and the Brazilian cables and that's it. But the true temperament frets is just divine because wow. now everything is in tune, you know. Wow. Uh, the overtone series. Is, is working with the actual frets. And for the first time in history, you can actually combine uh, harmonics with um, uh, harmony or, you know, whatever. That's a B and a third, minor third, flat six. And I think the best sort of um, proof in a way is when you play chords uh, very high up yeah. and you have open strings um, and then you so have low. There are no uh, dissonances, you know, yeah. like yeah. nodes going voo voo voo. Um, so this is, this is really... And I love when a D is a D. You know, so this is uh, great to be able to play in any interval. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and especially when you record, you know, I have lots of metal friends and say, yeah, we got this song, you know, we tune down to A and we have a C. And they have to tune for a week to get the yeah. C right. Now, yeah. okay, stop and plug in the A. Okay, now stop again. And where do you get the flow in that? Yeah. You know, yeah how is I it? Know. So, yeah. Crazy. Can I try for a sec? Just two bends. Woohoo! Um, Bend your. Board. I'm not worthy. I'm not yeah. worthy. Push. Oh, yes, it's up uh, spin. And pushes down. Oh, no way. That's your yeah. pickup selector. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Want maximum volume. Whoa, way too many strings. <laughs> He bends! He's bending! You're bending, sir! <laughs> that works! Yes, it works! It works. It's terrible. And what? it looks Why more, it more weird than it actually is. Yeah. It's, it's not that hard to play. It's probably know? such a small amount of correction that yeah. you don't really feel while you're bending. No, your fingers are not straight. They look like E.T. phone I home, mean, you know. I know what so, you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I have to bend a little more because yeah. of this one. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm not used to uh, an A-string, obviously, but, uh, but it, it feels looks, tall it looks. and all. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Okay. Hmm? I always want to ask, why Apple Horn? That, the that's name? the name of, of uh, Matthias' um, yeah. signature guitars. I remember back in the days in uh, Ikebukuru, I think we announced the first uh, guitar and um, uh, Itaru or Caparison guitar said, what, what, what would you like to call your signature model, the signature model? And I thought that, well, anything I will come up with, because I had created a really bad band name, Freak Kitchen. Freak, <laughs> and people ask, is it Free Kitchen? Or Freak. Free Chicken? <laughs> or what's the name of your silly band? <laughs> Free Chicken? Uh, so uh, it's a shit name, but well, you, you, you do it and you move on, you know. So I thought it would be really funny. I was wrong, of course, as I am always wrong, but that's how I based my career on screw-ups and being wrong, but it works. I thought it would be funny to combine 
grab the bull by its horns. Do you have this oh, yeah. expression in, in Germany? Well, I, I know right away yeah. what you mean. And, yeah. and sort of bite the sour apple. It's like, oh, get on with it. I was really, you know, taking a bite of the sour yeah. apple, whatever it's called. Uh, Bita det sura äpplet, as we say in Sweden. Ta suren vid hornen. Uh, so I thought it would be great to take the sour apple by its horns, the apple horn. And I tried to explain this via a <laughs> translator in Tokyo in front of 500 really confused Japanese kids. And they don't have these sayings in Japan. I love them, but they were like, Matthias is completely idiot <laughs> in the head. And so, oh, sorry, sorry. But you do stuff and people remember apple horn. It doesn't have to mean it's, anything. Yeah. I haven't been sued by anything that starts with an I and starts with a whatever, you know, <laughs> so mm. far. So, yeah, we'll you see. You didn't it get a call from a certain no, company? No, no, no. So it's, uh, it's wow. all good. You do what you do and you move on. It, and if it you, fits perfectly, man. It's, it's just... Yeah. So not obvious. Yeah. Everything is so, you know, it's scrutinized and overanalyzed today. It's like yeah. you don't get anything done. So you do it. It wasn't the best thing ever, but fuck it, move on. You know? Yeah. So that's right. what it is. Yeah. Also dig your t-shirt. Oh, yes. You're a big, big um, gamer? I game, believe it or not. I'm a 49-year-old man. I go to DreamHack and uh, um, I have an 11-year-old son. And we have a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, we have the Nintendo Switch, we have the Xbox One X, <laughs> the big one. We have four gaming computers. And this is my way to relax. I read, I'm not a complete uh, idiot. I watch, uh, you know, the Netflix and HBO, I travel the planet. But I also game every day. Even when I left here and I sent my son to school, I did my daily channel talent challenges, really? challenges in um, uh, Quake Champions. I think we're like a thousand players all over the world that's playing Quake Champions. And I love it. I send Bethesda and ID Software, you know, don't cancel this yeah, yeah. software. I love it. Keep Please the update. Yes, yeah. I love it. I am the scale bear and I get so happy when I do the bull run and run someone over. It's blue blood all over the screen, you know. And people say, that if you don't game and you look at me and I'm so into, my wife is just good. God, that guy. He's <laughs> down bomb. in the basement again. <laughs> and uh, I, I like uh, slightly more friendlier games than and like Overwatch and, oh, uh, yeah. and oh, stuff like that. I, really I, like, I like the aesthetics and games today, it's, it, it's art in so many ways, yeah. you know. Uh, I can look at textures and see how things are planned, what we should look at as like, I just get, uh, you know, flabbergasted. And I, I love it, you know. My son is playing uh, Call of Duty Zombies, but without the blood. I turned off the okay. Google and the bad Fair language. Uh, yeah. And he's great. You can see him with his headphones, you know, talking to, to uh, people around the world in fluent English at yeah. the age of 11. Uh, but then you got to, you know, of course, you got to take walks in the wood, do the homework, you know, and watch a movie together and travel together and so on. But gaming is a good way to cleanse your brain. Or and I love them. Doom and I wait for Doom Eternal. Crazy. You know? So when you play guitar, it's about the guitar and yes. making sounds in a creative way instead yes. of being geeky with gear. Yes. Yes. And if you're gaming, yes. then that's your that's Absolutely. Your and I get inspired to create music from from uh, you know the arts as well, from, yeah. from life. And gaming certainly, you know, when I had a good game, I do some push-ups in the studio and sit down and just <laughs> create something beautiful yeah, you know? yeah. so it's it's a, it's a beautiful thing you know so use it as a source of inspiration i have two german shepherds shepherds oh, great. Schäferhunds, uh, the biggest one in sweden oh. uh, yeah he's a monster and i have the smallest one as well and animals you know i give uh, bardo the male dog a long 15 minute massage every morning oh, and man. when i don't do it he's screaming in german <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> yes weisbier okay so uh, <laughs> So, worst, worst. Yeah, yeah. so it's all good. It's all good. Oh yeah. yeah. Talking about beautiful things. Yes. Um, in music, um, you had a, a little um, life-changing experience with Indian music. Yes. Is it is yes. it fair to say? Yes, very much so. Uh, how how come? Was it a the, trip or was it a planned thing or? I've always been before I knew and about Indian music. You know, I just heard it. My mother played some. North Indian or Ravi Shankar, you know, classical Indian music. Okay. And to me, it was like, yeah, yeah, here goes mom, you know, <laughs> and so on. And dad was listening to train records. So he was not really into music at all. And so there was some jazz and Alice Cooper and whatever, you know, my sisters would listen to. But every time there was Indian, I was like, yeah, there's a good vibe in, in the house where, where I grew up. Um, and I've always been interested in, in odd meter, um, yeah, you know, yeah. because I listened a lot to Frank Zappa and Mahavishnu Orchestra with oh, uh, yeah. John McLaughlin and oh, so on. Great, yeah. um, but not until my first Indian visit together with Jonas Hellboy uh, back in 2005 for three and a half weeks in, in India did it 
you know, really occurred to me how amazing it is and how, you know, the big picture understanding uh, Indian musicians have of yeah. music and how very little we know uh, here. We know lots about harmony and, and chords and everything, you know, they have, uh, they have time and they have melody. They don't really use chords in that way. Yeah. But man, the tonality and especially South Indian rhythms, um, Carnatic music, there's a little dust going on. I will make a sound for... It's falling down. So I, it's been here. Uh, yes, yeah, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fly in Treppendorf. <laughs> um, anyway, so, so this was a, a, a game changer for me. And I was learning a lot of Indian music, but I didn't understand it until I had the tools, especially uh, Konakol, um, yeah. which is the rhythm language, really old and extremely potent. And I will always be a, a medium fat um, Swedish guy, you know, I'm not Indian and I don't know where everything is coming from. At first it was like, I'm gonna know everything. And then I realized life is too short. Yeah, I take the bits and pieces yeah. and I uh, ask for forgiveness uh, to my Indian <laughs> friends if I do it wrong, but I, I find it extremely powerful. And sometimes I can just clap hands with Indian musicians or even kids, you know, and they don't care about, I have signature model or I know yeah, yeah. Uh, gent musicians or I devise my record company yeah, boss or whatever. Yeah. They don't give a shit about my signature picks. They say, Matthias, you're terrible. You're just dreadful. You don't understand. You are very unmusical. You're very white. So, <laughs> and then I, in Sweden, all of a sudden, when I walk naked in the woods with the German shepherds, it's just, yeah. yeah. I understand now, great, you know. Uh -huh. And then I get very happy and then I put uh, notes on it, um, you know, uh, actual licks and, and harmony and everything. Yeah. And I try to, as much as possible, to fuse it with my sw Swedish Viking yeah. self, you know. Was it hard? Because it sounds so natural. Yeah. If, if I listen to your songs, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. the percussion things in yeah, Tamla, yeah. or yeah, yeah. I'm not sure which it's, instrument. It's, it's everything. Yeah, everything. Kanjira. And, yeah. uh, uh, I, I grab whatever I can in the studio. I have lots of strange yeah. percussion instruments. And, and even and your, on your frets, if you dampen the strings and yeah. do the rhythm, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it sounds like a proper... Yeah, in, all in these... All these uh, yes. quick, quick uh, bends and so it's on. It's but, but I will always be a fake guy, but it's enough to make me really, really happy. <laughs> and this morning I woke up shit early in my hotel in Bamberg? Bamberg? Bamberg. Yeah. Bamberg. And uh, I was going crazy with my, my MIDI keyboard because I had this thing that was bugging me that I, that I heard on some really old crappy recordings with some guy with no teeth and he was doing <laughs> and so I was like, bloody hell, I need to manifest this into music. So, uh, and I always say to me, uh, to myself that, oh, I'm shit tired, it's late, but it's always worth doing, it, you know, just manifest, yeah. 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 It's the same, I come to a new place and I'm dead, uh, tired, you know, jet lag and everything, but I always, okay, let's go for a walk. Keep to the left and keep to the right when you come back. And <clears throat> instead of just, you know, it's, it's, it has to be done, you know. Um, and then I'm really happy in, in the end that I get my shit together because everything takes time. And now I'm gearing up for the 21st um, free guitar camp uh, that I'm oh, doing great. in August. 21st already? Yeah, 21 wow. summers in a row. In case you guys are not familiar with this thing, that's, um, that's a guitar camp. Yes. Uh, Matthias does in, um, in the woods in, yes. in Sweden yeah. every year, every yeah. summer, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two weeks every summer. And uh, it's just a crazy um, gathering of guitar players who have open minds yeah. on any level, yeah. basically, right? Is well, that like not really any not level. Starter, you, you, have to, you have to be able to, to um, uh, read and, and write a little bit about music and you have to have an urge to, to really learn. Okay. You know? Because it's a massive overkill of information, you know. Right. So I'm gonna burp some sprudel. Oh yeah, song. do it, do it, do yes. it. <laughs> so yeah, sprudel, sprudel. <laughs> yes. Cheers, man. Uh, yeah. So that's that's cool. And and right now I'm recording new music, and I really have to level up, as we say, yeah. uh, and really really get my shit together and dig deep to come up with new things. And where am I in life right now? And somehow turn that into music. And it's good because it keeps me on the edge, you know, when I, the first couple of days at the camp, I, I feel completely, you know, I'm in a haze, what am I doing? Oh shit, this is so new to me because uh, I compose it all the way up to the camp and then we write the notation and then free wow. guitar camp. And then I sit in front of 40 really dedicated, we have 40 players each week, uh, the bravest players on the planet that really wants to learn and, and hang wow. out and have a good time, you know, and you can't, you can't fake it. You yeah, have to yeah. get your shit together. Yeah, yeah. So right now I am in the leveling up process, which is good wow. for me. It also takes a lot of time. So very little sleep, very, very, very much music. <laughs> Sprudel. Cheers.
So what, what do you, uh, where should people go to find out more about this? Guitar, freeguitar.com? Yeah, I guess? exactly. It's, it's super duper sold out. It was sold out in two <sighs> days, but for next year. Well, prepare for next year. Then. Yes, <laughs> give, it a, give it a try. People will write now, can I join? No, 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 no. no I have the waiting list of that. doom. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> Great. Matthias, thank you very much. Thank this you. This was a very enjoyable talk. Thank you. Thanks thank a you lot. Very much. And um, enjoy your uh, rest of your Absolutely, tour. yes. Yes, good. <laughs> and you guys, take it easy. And I uh, hope this was an interesting one. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Hit the bell. Subscribe for all the good things. Yes. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen.